Triangles have got triangles and side triangles. So this one, this one, sorry, one triangle to another another third triangle over here on the side. Now, okay. The question says, first of all, we have to work out, so they give you some measurements of this right angle triangle here of 7 and 3. It says, work out the length of CD. And to work out the length of CD, okay, we have a right angle triangle here, don't we? If that's a right angle here, that's a straight line, what do we know automatically by default? That's a right angle here, that one must also be a? Right angle. So that's a straight line. So 90 at 90 will give you 180. So we get that kind of angle, you, you must make sure that you realize that. So triangle C, B, D. What I want to do, make it that dark, so you know which triangle I'm talking about. Okay, please excuse my slightly wonky lines. Alright, so I'm looking at this black triangle here, this one here, the black triangle, this one, this one, and then the red part there. We need to work out CD. How much piece of information do we have currently? Not a lot. Not a lot. Not too much. Okay, be precise. Tell me how many pieces of information do we have in one, that triangle? Two, no, in, that, in, in this triangle. Don't look at the whole board. Just one. Just one. Can you work out anything from one piece of information? Yes. No. no. Can't do it. You have to work out from the others, don't you? So we have to go to this triangle, work out this length from this triangle, and then use it for that triangle. Yeah? You happy with that? Yeah. Okay, now where's the more here? I'm gonna rub off this black line here, so we're gonna come to that triangle in the moment. I'm gonna put the put some lines on here now. This so I'm putting these lines on to show you which triangle I'm concentrating on. Which triangle I'm looking at. So we're trying to work out that length there. That length there will help me with that triangle. So let's work it out first by using the blue information for the triangle only. So, what type of triangle is this? Right angle triangle. This is right angle triangle, yeah? This triangle, okay. Haruna, are you happy with the blue triangle? You know everything else at the moment. I've got to work at the height. Now, opposite the right angle is always the hypotenuse. Okay, and then we label the other sides. If you want to just have side one and side two. If you want to use the formula that we said earlier, it was hypotenuse squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. Now that is here, that b squared and c squared is a generic term for side 1 squared and side 2 squared. Okay? Would you mind it now? Because you're working yeah, we will be more than that. Okay? This b and c means just the other two sides. This is the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse squared on this one is what? What is the hypotenuse on this diagram? 7. seven. seven. So at the moment we've got 7 squared. b squared means one of the other sides. So I'm going to call this one my b squared. Which is what? Three. 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 C squared means the other side, the third side. So if you mention seven, we mention three, what's left over is the question yeah, mark yeah. squared. Yeah. That's what we're trying to work out. Question mark squared. Okay, the question mark squared, okay? You happy with that folks? We're going to work out that question mark, that height there in some BC. Now, how do we work that out? So the question mark has been squared, and it's been added by 3 squared. First action, second action. Yes. So the opposite of adding 3 squared is? Minus. Okay, Are you happy with that so far? <coughs> now, Harun, I want to get rid of the squared now. So the opposite of squaring is? So on your calculators, please folks, work that out. And that's question mark here actually represents which length? B to C. So let's get some answers please. 6.3245. I'm just going to check that. Two. So square root, 7 squared minus 3 squared equals... 2 root 10, so 6.3245, yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's leave that there for the moment. Okay, the, the three significant numbers is actually for the CD, which we saw. So at the moment, I'm not going to write that for the moment. Because I'm going to use that to work out my answer, then I'm going to write my answer. I'm not writing this for the moment, it's leaving it as it is for the moment. Now, that question mark, we can replace that with what? With this? Six 
Okay, now the first part of the question has been done. I'm going to rub off the blue lines here. This stuff here. Now, we're going to put that, put the, now let's have a look which triangle we'll be looking at now. We are back to the triangle that we're looking at the beginning of the question. So which triangle are we looking at now? Is we be looking at this triangle here, the middle one. Now, we know the height as in centimeters, we know the angle. Now can we work at CD? Yes. This is called a gold problem. We've got to work at something first, then work at the answer. So let's work out the CD now. Let's get rid of all this. Now, before we work out the CD, let's label the diagram as we do. Start from the right angle in the corner. Opposite right angle is always the... Hypotenuse. Opposite right angle is always the hypotenuse. Okay. And then opposite the angle is always the... This is opposite. And the remaining side has to be the adjacent. Has to be the adjacent. Okay, so now we've labeled the triangle that's in the middle of all these triangles. And we can now see what we're trying to what we've got for this. We know the angle. 40 degrees. Tick. We know the opposite. Tick. And we want to work out the hypotenuse. Now what sign does O and H make? Oh. oh. So that comes from we have soccer to that. that comes from. So, from the sign. So we have soccer toa. There's the O and H. Oh. So we, if you want to write the rest of it, you can do. But that's the identity we're looking at is the sign one. Okay, I don't want anybody to joke the gun for the moment. Sign of the angle. Okay, lovely. What do we want to work out in this question? We want to work out the H. hypotenuse. So we don't know that. Do we know the opposite? Yes. Do we know the angle? Yes. So we cover up the hypotenuse with our finger. So that's my, like my thumb on my finger. I'm covering it up. Now, Zishan, tell me what is the, the rule trying to cover up the uh, hypotenuse with my finger. So what is the, how do you work at the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is equal to the opposite, opposite. divided by the sine of the angle. Yeah. So when you cover it up, it tells you what to do. So let's do that then. So the hypotenuse is equal to the opposite. Okay, for time? Yeah, it's fine. Are you happy with that so far? Three? Yeah. So are you happy with how you covered up with the thumb and that tells what to do? Okay, now remember that's not S, a sign, a sign of the angle that's what it represents. So let's put the values in now. What is the O value? The O value is? 6.3245. Six point yeah? Divided by the, the sign of the angle. So what is it? You automatically get a bracket in calculator, you just close it off. And that will give you the H value. And the H value on this diagram corresponds to what? C, D. Right, that's another calculated job now. So I'm, I'm actually going to use my answer. What is that? I've got my answer already in there, 6.3245. Watch my next calculation. I'm going to press the fraction button. Fraction. And that number is on the top of there, so I use the answer. I'm recycling that, that value. Replay, bring it to the bottom, sign on the bottom, 48, close the brackets, and we get 8.5105, is that right? Yeah. So was it 8.151? 8.5. Okay, now, I'm just looking at some uh, notes here. Amazingly, <laughs> they've got a rounding area in the, in the answers. This is correct. Okay, now, when you have a two-part question, you don't round off your first number unless they've asked you to round off. You use the actual number. That makes sure that the, the full value, the full essence of that number goes through. So CD is actually equal to, in this question, and now, how many, how many significant figures is that? Three, three. Three SF. Yeah. Yeah. So, one, two, three, and we look at the next number, which is zero, so you do nothing. Yeah. So the actual final answer is 8.5. One. 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 
Eight point five one. What is it? Centimeters. Centimeters. Yeah. Like four marks. Huh? Yeah. I know that felt a bit long-winded, but folks, that's how we gotta do it. Yeah. That's why it's worth four marks. They want you to work out something first, then reuse it and work out the next bit. Okay, we're getting close to time. We gotta go. Let's do one more. Last part. C E. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Right. Folks, are we ready for the next part? These are exam questions, folks. This is what the exam questions would be like. They're not your nice. Uh, Questions all walk in the park questions. You'll get questions nested inside of the questions, so be ready for it. So that's how we're doing the lesson today. We are looking at examination questions and concentrating how we tackle them. Right. What I've asked for next, calculate the length of CE. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, now. Right, what did we say? We said here, what was this value here again? We said 8.6. 8.51 yeah. CD. Well, this one isn't it? One, yeah. Okay now, can you see the diagram here? We got here. Uh, we got to work out CE. Let's put that back into our red colour. We got to work out CE. And that's what we got to work out. Yeah. Now, we. So let's. I'm gonna highlight. I'm gonna go into black. The triangle we're actually working with. Oops. Okay, now we have 8.51. Okay, here we go. What's on the back part that we know? Wow. I'll go 17. You go what? 17. 4. Yeah. 17 for this side here? No, 17 for the whole answer. For CTE. For CTE. Are you ahead of us? <laughs> making it black. This black part here, black part here. So we're looking at this triangle over here. Okay, so what was your answer? 17? Yeah. Okay, we'll soon find out that spectrum now. All will be revealed in a moment. Now, okay, Mr. Harun, from here to here, what is the angle from there to here? The angle is? 42. Angle is? From here to here is? 90. So that's square. So 90 minus the 48 is? 42. 42. I think it's going to be back 7 at 8 to 42 degrees. <coughs> Are you happy with the 42 degrees at the moment? Yeah. Now, we know this angle. We know this side. What's this side? What is the value of it? Uh, 19. 19. This length and that length we know. And the angle in the middle. We've got to work out that side. When I teach cosine rule, I always say to the students, use the L. You see this L here? Watch. So, put it over here. Do we know this? Do we know this length here? Yeah. Yes. Do we know the angle in the middle? Yeah. Do we know this length here? Yeah. Yes. So if you know everything in that L here, this length, the angle, and that length, you are going to work at the up, the opposite side. What do we use? Cosine rule. That's an indication of what we're going to be using. So let's write down the cosine rule here. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus two BC cos of a. Now, what does the A represent? A represents the angle they gave you, which is in between. So the A is the angle here, and these two letters, you know. Now, they've labeled it as D. Can we relabel it as A? Yes, let's do it. This D, I'm going to relabel it as A. Watch how I make it look like A. That wasn't hard. That's big A, and the CE is worth my little A. Opposite. A. The E becomes my B. B. Because it's easy to do it. And the C stays as C. We are. That's good. I've relabeled the diagram so the diagram now matches my formula. The A corresponds to the angle given to me, and the B and the C values are the ones which are either side. Here's my little B. Opposite the big B is the little B. Opposite the big C is the little C. Equals C. There you go. C. Can you see? See. Okay. Remember, we know this side, we know that side, and we know the angle in the middle. We're going to work our C, so it's going to be cos angle. Here's everything that's ready to be just thrown into the formula. And inshallah, we should be able to work it out. So the A is my CE. Okay. Squared. A squared. 
What's the B value? Okay, is each one B value is? 8.51. Which we got from the previous part of the question. Plus, okay, we have it. It reads, what's the C value? Uh, 19. Okay, 19 squared. Minus 2 times by, what's the B value again? 8.51. And what's the C value again? 19. Okay, I'm running out of space on the passion of the diagram. Uh, let's just quickly squeeze the 19 in here. And then what we time all that by? We multiply it by the cos of? 42. 42. Okay, uh, cos of 42. Yeah, okay, sorry about that, folks. I can't go really into yeah. the question. Two minutes. Okay, we should finish here. Right, let's now work this stuff out. So now we have to put it into the calculator. You have to do, you have to, you have to rearrange stuff. Really. Okay, one more, one more bit of rearranging. The opposite squaring is? Take this, I'm, I'm going to take my square root, I'm just going to cheat and just write it one go. There you go. Square root of all of that. So, what we type in first, we type in the square root button, and then 8.51 squared plus 19 squared minus 2 times by 8.51 times by 19 times by the cos. Is it 42? I've got 13.89. Okay, what do we get? 13.89. That sounds good to me for the moment. Let's write that down. 13.89. No. 611. Okay. Three significant figures. So how many significant figures? Three? Yeah. Okay, so Zishan. One, two. 13.89. Three. So that's my last digit. That's my decider. So that's, is that five or more? Yeah. yeah. So the font, you got to add 1 to the 8. 13.9. 13.9 what? Centimeters. Is the value of C? And E. E. C E. Yeah. 13.9 centimeters. Okay. And that's the end of the question. That's the end of our lesson, folks. Pack away your stuff, folks. Let me give you your homework pack. I actually made three packs. So I'll bring my Yes. So bring them in a bit if you can. Okay, that's me. Where's the, where's the homework packs? Yeah, Okay, right. Right. Can you collect all the equipment, please, and put it in there? Okay, as we traditionally do in our lessons, what we do in the lessons, okay, what do you do first when you go home? Go home, watch the videos, revise through the videos, practice through the and then you need to put the videos away and, and do the homework. Yeah, okay. <laughs> homework, yeah? So homework is the same as classroom. There you go. For you more practice.